Get ready for things you want to know. This underwater creature has beady eyes, a toothy jaw, and is oftentimes the main attraction in some scary movies. Sharks! But what are they? Fish? Or superheroes? If you guess both, then you're right. Sharks are one of the oldest living organisms on planet Earth. Like all fish, they swim in water and can be found in every ocean on Earth. Sharks are often seen as the supervillain of the sea, but they're better cast as superheroes because sharks have superpowers. They have the power of night vision. Sharks can spot their prey in dim and dark waters. Combine this with a strong sense of smell and the ability to pinpoint their prey sometimes hundreds of feet away. Sharks also get a bad rap. The truth is, you're more likely to get injured by a toilet than attacked by a shark. But the odds of either of those things happening is unlikely. When it comes to feasting, sharks are clever and well-equipped with speed, agility, and strength. Sharks have different techniques for capturing food, like the basking shark that holds its mouth open like a drawbridge and inhales as much as a thousand pounds of fish food in its stomach every day. I'm full just thinking about that. Sharks' eating habits may seem extreme, but they actually help to keep fish populations strong. Sharks use their superpowers to protect and help keep the ocean healthy. Sharks are the superheroes of the sea. Get ready for things you want to know. I scream, you scream, we all scream for... Well, you know the rest. The first kind of ice cream invented was in China over 2,000 years ago. Along with some other early inventions like paper money, tea, and the compass. Our sweet and sticky history tour starts with an explorer named Marco Polo, who carried a recipe from his travels in China to Italy. It closely resembled what we know as sherbet. However, this tempting treat didn't spread from Europe to the New World until the late 18th century, and ice cream became a summer favorite. Fast forward to today. In places like Japan, you can find unique flavors of ice cream like octopus, shrimp, soybean, and kelp. Whoa! Japan isn't the only place with crazy flavored ice cream. In England, there's a restaurant that serves ice cream flavors like crabs and sardines on toast. There are hundreds of weird and wonderful ice cream flavors all over the world. For ice cream lovers, one to two scoops is not enough. Ask Dimitri Panciera from Italy, who's known for balancing 121 ice cream scoops on one single cone or head to the country that consumes more ice cream per person than any other, Australia. These awesome ice cream flavors are no fun without its funnel-shaped package. While the recipe isn't as ancient as the ice cream, the ice cream cone has been around for over a century. They're durable and environmentally friendly. If you order your ice cream with a cone instead of in a cup, there's no waste. You eat every delicious bite. I know all this talk about ice cream must be making your mouth water. So go grab a scoop or two or even three. But be careful not to eat it too fast, though. You might get a brain freeze. Get ready for things you want to know. Have you ever been on a road trip? How about a three-day road trip? That's about how long it takes to get to the moon. Three American astronauts began their road trip to the moon on July 16, 1969. Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Edwin Buzz Aldrin Three, two, one. blasted off in the Apollo 11 spacecraft from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on a mission that would change the world forever. Back on Earth, 
600 million people all over the globe watched this incredible expedition. Before touching down, the trio split up. Colin stayed on board Apollo 11's command module, the Columbia, where he would remain in orbit around the moon. Armstrong and Aldrin boarded the lunar module, the Eagle, an aircraft designed for two astronauts to land on the moon's surface. Wearing bulky spacesuits and backpacks of oxygen to breathe, Neil Armstrong stepped out, becoming the first person to walk on the moon. Shortly after, Buzz Aldrin joined his partner, launching themselves into the history books. Armstrong and Aldrin spent about two hours exploring and collecting samples of the moon to bring back to Earth. But before getting back on board, they left behind a few mementos. Their backpacks, an American flag, a small gold pin shaped like an olive branch, and a patch from the never-launched Apollo 1 mission. All was going well, until one of the astronauts accidentally knocked loose the circuit breaker that fires up the engine to get them back to the orbiting command module. Collins was their only ride home. But it was Buzz Aldrin who saved the day with a pen, pushing the breaker back in place. The spacemen re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, splashing down in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, marking the first successful human-operated spacecraft to the moon and back. Mission accomplished, and the world celebrated their safe return. Humans set foot on the moon. What planet is next? You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Get ready for things you want to know. You probably know Simba from the Lion King movie. But did you know that Simba means lion in Swahili? And crowned king of the jungle because of its power and presence. Found mostly in sub-Saharan Africa, lions have a special sense of family and are the only big cats that prefer to live in groups called a pride. A family unit with up to three males, a dozen females and their young, often all related, with as many as 15 lions. The lionesses certainly have their paws full as the primary hunters of their pride. These queens and princesses like to stick together to help make their royal pride strong. Using stealth and strategy, female lions often work together to bring down prey. And while the queens are out hunting for food, the kings of the jungle are likely taking their long daily nap. Male lions spend about 18 to 20 hours a day sleeping. When they're not sleeping, they're protecting their pride and their territory, using their powerful roar that they don't gain until two years of age. Lions are 25 times louder than a gas-powered lawnmower. Both the kings and queens of the jungle play an important role in keeping their royal family healthy and safe. So Simba, his lionesses, and the rest of the pride definitely cause an uproar in the wild. Get ready for things you want to know. Do you love flying through the air at top speeds, riding upside down, throwing your hands in the air, and screaming at the top of your lungs? Then this wild ride is for you. The roller coaster. These massive machines come in many different sizes and speeds. From China to Pennsylvania, Germany, Florida, the list goes on. For centuries, people have been seeking the thrill and adventure of this extreme experience. In the 15th century, back in Russia is when it all started. People of the upper class built giant slides made of snow to sled down, just for fun. France soon joined in on the fun in 1804 and built the first real roller coaster with sloped tracks and carts for people to ride. In the United States, it wasn't a human that took a ride on the first roller coaster. It was coal. Miners needed the fastest way to transport coal out of the mountain, so they made a downhill track. Soon after, roller coasters started popping up all over the world. They got longer, faster, and taller. 
you can find an 8,000 foot long roller coaster in Japan and over a 400 foot tall coaster in New Jersey, USA. Roller coasters are built with safety and physics in mind. The faster the roller coaster, the more secure you are in your seat. So, head out to your closest amusement park, jump in a roller coaster, and buckle up for a zero gravity experience. Get ready for things you want to know. What creature has pointy teeth, is most active at night, and sleeps hanging upside down? Bats. Sometimes mistaken for shape-shifting bloodsuckers or vampires. But only three species of bats feed solely on blood, while other species feed on insects, fruit, and fish. Bats' unique taste buds aren't the only thing that makes them special. They also have distinctive prints on their wings, like human fingerprints. There's no mistaking one bat from another. There are over 1,300 species of bats found around the globe. More incredibly, one of them is named the world's smallest mammal, the bumblebee bat. Bats are the only flying mammal on Earth. And did you know that these furry flyers are also pollinators? They help supply us with some of our favorite foods, like bananas, avocados, and mangoes. Birds, bees, and butterflies pollinate plants during the day. Then bats and moths take over the night shift. Most bats are nocturnal, foraging for insects like mosquitoes, beetles, and moths. They're like a nighttime pest control. A common bat can eat over 3,000 tiny bugs in one single night. And during the day, they seek shelter to rest. Caves are the perfect habitat because they have high ceilings to keep them out of reach from most predators. Some caves can have colonies of up to 20 million bats. This gigantic crowd doesn't stop bat moms from finding their pups. Using their unique voices and scents, moms can easily locate their babies. Like humans, bats have voice recognition. Even more amazing, bats navigate by echolocation, which basically means they can see using sound. Hopefully, this has busted some myths and fears you may have had about bats. Instead, we should celebrate them for their natural pest control and pollinating powers. Get ready for Things You Wanna Know. This four-legged friend comes in a variety of colors and coat lengths, has long whiskers, and sometimes mischievous motives. Does this sound like your pet? My guess is it's a cat. Humans and domestic cats have developed close relationships over many years. The history of house cats dates back 12,000 years ago in the Middle East. Today, there are now 500 million domestic cats in the world making cats one of the most popular pets. Over time, these lovable felines have made cat lovers believe they're truly out of this world. And literally, they've made a leap for mankind, with the first cat blasting off into outer space in 1963. Cats' amazing feats don't just stop there. Towser the Mouser, the famous mouse champion, caught almost 30,000 mice in her lifetime. There's even a statue dedicated to her in Scotland. These cute companions share a special bond with their human friends, so much that cats think of us as bigger versions of themselves. Unlike dogs who immediately change their behavior when they see us, cats tend to treat people like their fellow felines, propping their tails up, rubbing against our legs, and lying beside us. These cuddle buddies' favorite pastime is sleeping. Cats can sleep up to 20 hours a day, resting so much that a nine-year-old cat would have been awake for only three years of its life. Talk about beauty sleep. These cute catnappers may sleep their days away, but they always make time to show their human friends just how lovable and loyal they are. Get ready for things you want to know. What two cold-blooded creatures have scaly skin, are top predators, 
and live on every continent except Antarctica and Europe. Need a couple more hints? They're both reptiles with 23 different species in the world. And they both often suffer from a case of mistaken identity. Give up? They're alligators and crocodiles. These two may have some obvious similarities, but their differences are a little harder to spot, especially since gators and crocs are close relatives. Here are a few different characteristics to help you tell them apart. They're snouts. Crocodiles are larger in size and have a more pointed V-shaped snout, while alligators are smaller and have a wider U-shaped snout. Since we're talking about their massive mouths, what about their teeth? Crocs flash a toothy grin, even when their mouths are shut. But gators sometimes keep their lower chompers hidden. And an even easier and safer way to tell them apart from a distance is their skin color. Gators are darker gray or black, and crocs are olive green or tan. And last but not least, they differ in their big, bad attitudes. Crocodiles are much more aggressive than alligators. A croc's bite force is almost the same as a great white shark. Now that's an animal you don't want to cross. These two giant reptiles may not be exactly alike, but they both are powerful predators. So it's best not to meet up with either one in the wild. But if you do, take a look and get out of there quick. Get ready for things you want to know. Do you know which two reptiles come from the Squamata family? I know you're like, what's that? It's the largest group of reptiles, a class of animals that are known for their scaly skin. Think you know which two? Let me give you a few hints. They can slither away from trouble, stay hidden using camouflage, warm up by sunbathing, and they're even growing in popularity as pets. They're snakes and lizards. They may be different, but they also have a lot in common. We all know that snakes don't have arms or legs, but did you know that some lizards are legless and slither around just like snakes? Pretty cool, right? Some of these wild creatures have the ability to hide in plain sight. In fact, chameleons can blend into most of their backgrounds. It's just a myth that they can mimic any surrounding. But with the help of special pigments in their skin, these color-converting lizards can make themselves harder to spot. Snakes have camouflaging skill too, and they use it to hide from potential predators. But when the sun's out, they don't hide away for too long because they're drawn to it and not just to warm up. Many lizards have a hole between their eyes, kind of like a third eye, that allows sunlight to reach their brains. This helps them keep track of the change of seasons. Pretty incredible, right? Snakes and lizards are squiggly, sometimes slimy, and even sly. But it's their unique skills that make them really fantastic. Get ready for things you want to know. Check this out. Did you know that there are over 300 different types of monkeys on Earth? From the world's smallest monkey, the pygmy marmoset, weighing as little as four ounces, to the world's largest monkey, the mandrill, weighing as much as 77 pounds. And it's not just the size of their bodies that make monkeys so unique. Take the proboscis monkey, for example, known for its extra long nose. Or the spider monkey with extremely long limbs and a tail. Some monkeys have prehensile tails. I'm sure you're like, what's that? It's another limb that acts just like an arm, which makes it easy for them to glide through the jungle. It's also the easiest way to tell monkeys and apes apart. Sometimes they can be confusing. Monkeys have tails and apes don't, even though they're both members of the primate family. And family is everything to monkeys. Their social structure is how they thrive. Monkey troops work together to find food, care for their young, and protect one another. 
but they also socialize through sound, like geladas, who communicate with complex vocal sounds and lip smacks. And howler monkeys, who are so loud, they can be heard up to three miles away. Monkeys are pretty awesome. They have big personalities and are the life of the party wherever they go.